Hey guys, it's Aaron the Home from Mobile Reviews, A.C, and today I'm going to do a review of the Optrix XT6. In my opinion, this is the best waterproof case that you can get for the iPhone 6 or 6S. Now, before we get to the review, you might be wondering, Aaron, where is Monty? You always have Monty in your videos for the last while, but all I see is this cabinet. Well, surprise, <laughs> there's Monty in a cabinet. I'm such an awful dog dad. The iPhone sits in a sled that slides into the main case, which is quite handy. You can easily remove the iPhone and still have a bit of protection on the device when you aren't near water. This extra case is nice because you don't want to be hauling this beast of a case in your pocket all the time. I have the most confidence in terms of waterproofing for my iPhone 6s uh, when I'm on vacation because of the design on this case. It's simple, but it works, but it's pretty ugly, <laughs> we'll be honest with you. For my Body Glove Optics XD6 review, I've given this waterproof case a score of 3.9 A's out of 5. It's far better than the Hit Case Pro in terms of the actual case, and as a waterproof case, is a magnitude better than any of the waterproof cases that LifeProof puts out. If you want to see how the XD6 fares against other, other cases, check out my top 5 list for waterproof iPhone 6 cases. Links are in the i and the description section below, and I will do a quick comparison between the XD6 and the Hit Case Pro at the end of this video. Video. Real usage, real reviews, mobile reviews A dot C A. And mobile reviews A dot C A based on my reviews on actual usage. I've had this XD6 for probably seven months now, and it's been languishing at the bottom of the ranker list. I'm not quite sure why people don't like this case, but I love it, which is why I'm doing this review, because I would hate to have, I would hate to do this review, have you come back from your vacation near a body of water and say, hey, I could have totally used that for vacation. I've definitely put this case through its paces as I did use it extensively on my vacation last December. Did 20 to 30 foot submersion in salt water with the fishes and the turtles, gotta say, iPhone 6 is still safe. Now this isn't the first Optrix case we've reviewed as well as the iPhone 5 slash SE version did prevent my iPhone 5S from getting damaged during a 40 foot toss uh, and drop kind of video thing. In terms of design, this is one of the most unique cases that we've come across. Rather than snapping everything together, the top of the case flips over and you slide the iPhone lengthwise into the case. Removing the iPhone is very simple with the XD6. The latching system on this case is a big confidence booster in my opinion when it comes to bringing your iPhone into the water. The XD6 is made from an impact resistant custom polycarbonate unibody design, which sounds quite fluffy, but as well if you checked out that extreme dot drop test video, it is quite tough. The transparency of the case also helps you see if your case has been compromised in terms of water. The XD6 is definitely not a small case. The hinge is very noticeable and the attachment point sticks out like a sore thumb on the back of the case. At the beginning of the review, I mentioned that the iPhone sits in a sled, which doubles as a slim case, which means that the bulk of the case doesn't mean as much um, because if you're annoyed, you can just quickly take the iPhone out of the case. And if you're being paying a lot of attention to the close-ups in this review, review video, you'll notice that there is a screen protector on the iPhone that's going into the XD6. This is probably the only case that I would have a lot of confidence that a screen protector would work with an iPhone uh, on it. The Optrix XD6 does have a lens system, and if you got the cash, you can get four different lenses to use with the case. Lenses are easily attached by screwing them onto the case, They're way easier than the bit BitPlay Pro that we uh, reviewed a couple of weeks ago. In terms of the lens quality, here is a comparison photo between the wide angle lens and the moment lens, one of our current favorite lenses. As you can see, the XD6 does suffer a lot more distortion along the edges, which may bother some people. However, from my perspective, I'm shooting video with the XD6, not photos, which means the blurry edges won't mean much since the subject in my videos is always almost going to be in the middle of the shot. In terms of protection, the specs on the XD6 says it will protect your iPhone from 20 foot drops and is waterproof up to 30 feet. And the 30 feet water protection is one of the reasons why I say this is the best waterproof cases because most people going on vacation near a body of water probably won't be taking it past the 30 feet, but will probably most definitely take it past the 6.6 .6 feet that a life proof case offers. I did say that the XD6 was a magnitude better than anything that I've reviewed from life proof. And I say this because I have the utmost confidence that my iPhone is going to be dry in this case. The simple install as well as the big latch and everything clipping together and the massive hinge, it just gives you, it just feels solid, it feels watertight in your hands, and I've taken OtterBox, Catalyst, LifeProof, and hit cases in the ocean, and I'm always very apprehensive about my iPhone in those cases when I'm in the water, but not with the XD6. And that's important because when you're 10, 15 minutes away from land and you see water in your case, what are you gonna do? Nothing, you're gonna float there and you're gonna watch your iPhone die in the ocean. Ha! Accessing your iPhone inside the full case isn't great as the buttons are a little tougher. The mute switch is 
completely covered up and Touch ID doesn't work as well. Uh, though I do have to say the cutouts at the bottom case are quite large, so you know, use your Amazon Basics cable if you really wanted to. Sound coming from the iPhone is very muted in the case. Um, screen sensitivity is also quite horrendous because the gap on that case is so very noticeable and will make long-term usage of the iPhone inside the case quite painful. Now, if this was any other waterproof case, I would, I would be up in arms, I would be so animated saying that what the hell were they thinking in terms of the design, but because you can just easily take your iPhone out like this, any sort of extended iPhone usage you have to do, you can do it like this, and the moment you go back in the water, you just pop it back in, latch it up, good to go. That is so awesome, so quick. Now onto the comparison between the Case Pro and the X-T6. I'm a little torn to say which one is actually better than the other. The X-T6 as a case is better than the Hit Case Pro, but the Hit Case Pro has a better app, the mounting system is better and it's easier to use, and it's compatible with GoPro accessories, which means that you have a better chance of getting accessory uh, for your Hit Case Pro. The X-T6, they have a custom mount, you have to go get their own, you have to go get their pole, you have to go get their car mounts. So it's a lot more difficult to integrate this um, into to whatever action video stuff that you're shooting. So that's a big con for the X-T6. It's a great pro for the Hit Case Pro, but from a case perspective, the X-T6 is better. So that's all I got. If you're planning on getting any of the cases that I've mentioned in this review, consider getting it through my website because, well, Optrix definitely did not give me this case. I had to buy it outright. And Optrix definitely did not pay for the iPhone that I put in the ocean. I had to go pay for that as well. And so if you found this review useful, uh, consider supporting me by getting it through my site. You can find me on Google Plus Twitter as well as Instagram. If you want to watch me try to stuff Monty into the back of this cabinet, uh, stay past the credits because you get to see me try to put him into it. It was actually quite painless. He's such a good dog. It's stupidly obedient and he just, he kind of just trusts me. Um, find me on Google plus Twitter as well as Instagram. I don't know if I said that already. Um, thanks for watching. Should we get you out of there? I think we should get you out of there. Yep, okay. I got the puppy, I got the puppy, I got the puppy. Don't tell my wife. Blurry ages might mean something, but since, <sighs> turd nuggets.